Hi, hi one and all. Today we are discussing about the SCD type 1 with the target transformation. So we see here uh, that uh, SCD type 1 here and uh, we do have uh, one uh, um, source table as well as and target table. So we have we are having the source is uh, UPD uh, S underscore customer UPD and the target is uh, here we are having in the core table we are having the target that is T underscore uh, and the name is customer underscore UPD t underscore customer underscore upd so t underscore customer icon upd we do, we do have here so i am i want to uh, truncate that t underscore customer and customer underscore upd so table is truncated the target table is doesn't have any information and in the source table we are having select star from t underscore customer upd now we are having so we go for s underscore uh, customer upd and we are having this information ravikiran and vijay ajit vishal in the s underscore customer upd first i have to insert and then i will go for the update of strategy in the scd type one so the for that we have to take source as uh, source as the s underscore customer upd here and i go for the lookup transformation which is connected one we already seen that lookup transformation connected and unconnected we go lookup object that is lookup dr t underscore customer upd and return any row lookup condition is uh, customer id equal to source of uh, customer id okay so here we are doing uh, the target table is comparing with the our source record so if there is any uh, changes in the source record the target table uh, after loading the table we go for the update if there is no record is uh, matching we go with the another one we see one by one we have written fields are all are written fields whatever the fields we are having in the source so that are all are written fields customer customer name email id mobile number city country are the written fields look here these are the written fields now we go with the router transformation in the router transformation we give the uh, out, output groups to two that are insert and update so in the insert group we are giving uh, here if uh, is null of we see here in the advanced mode in the edit filter condition if iif iterative if condition this is one and is null of customer id so the target table is doesn't containing any customer id so we go for the true otherwise false false means it will not go and insert if there is no customer id of source belongs to the a target then it will change the so customer id of source is different from uh, customer id of uh, target table it go and insert thus uh, if it is uh, is not there means in differ means here if uh, the customer id exists in the target table it gives false okay this is the condition we are taking and another condition we are taking here update strategy that is the customer id of source and the customer id of target this is the car target customer id and this is source customer id and the customer name is not equal to source customer name or email id is not equal to email id or this means the, the condition of both customer id and source customer id if both are equal then that any changes in the uh, any one of the field is go for the uh, it gives true otherwise it gives false and here we see here and we are uh, root, rooting here we are having two insert and update insert is going to the target uh, one and in go, uh, update is going to target two this target two just is the copy paste of this target one and we have to do the mappings and uh, we see how the mappings will will do the field mappings and everything of the customer id customer name email id mobile number city that is going to store in the src so customer id customer name email id mobile number city and country the uh, target uh, one analysis which is an update strategy means any one is not equal so we go with this one and field mapping 
so the both same we'll do here then uh, i want to here the target table is doesn't have any information we look here uh, select star from t underscore customer upd and this is doesn't have any information then we go for the uh, execution of this uh, uh, flow the pipe pipeline flow then we see here run so in the earlier uh, it it go and fetch the all the source data into target now we see this is how i am doing now mm. the rows are processing here uh, we do the refresh on each and every time then we know which is processed the four rows are processed now we will see the target table contains so ravi kiran and all the information whatever the information we are having here the same information is updated here now what i do here i go to source table uh, where is the source source uh, upd so in the data i i want to modify with this ravi kiran to ravi and i am saving this information i am doing committing here and again i am going to run this uh, session sorry uh, task we see here and we see how many rows is here process in the earlier update strategy uh, update and uh, insert update field the four records are processed now how many records is processed let's see here and we know the difference between scg types and bulk update and target transformation scg types the target transformation if any records updated all the records uh, ex except that uh, including that uh, modify record and the non modified records also modified but here only the modified record will only modify other records the router transformation filter out okay this is uh, scd types okay now we see the output here the core table in the place of ravi kiran it will came it will come as ravi okay this is regarding scd type 1 okay before that please subscribe and like scd type 2 is type 3 we will see further okay thank you